HTTP long polling in this video. So HTTP is basically a client server model where there is a client and there is a server and client has to always request server for data and server will send back the data to the client provided that client has been authenticated and authorized and also server has the data that client has asked for. Consider a scenario where there is a client who wants to monitor the stock price of a particular company like the stock belongs to some company and client wants to monitor the price of that particular stock. Now, how do we solve this problem using HTTP's standard polling technique? Let's see that. In case of a standard polling, client is going to ask server to send me the updated value of the stock price. Now, let's say client requests, server sends back saying the stock value is right now X rupees. Client is going to send the another request asking for the updated value of the stock price now server is going to send back the response again mentioning the same price like which means the stock price has not changed since now there can be several other requests and responses where the stock price remains same and then finally there would be a request from client asking for the updated value of the stock price and finally server may send the response saying that right now the stock has increased by one rupees while this standard polling method works but it isn't efficient because there are so many messages already exchanged between client and the server before the stock value actually got updated. There is a workaround for this, which is long polling. Before we actually move to the long polling, let's understand about the push and the pull mechanism. The standard polling that we just saw is based on the pull mechanism, wherein client has to request the server to get the updated or the real-time data from the server. However, there are other technologies that are based on the push mechanism in which server on its own pushes the real-time data to the client. And two very common technologies that are used here are the web sockets and server sent events. They are not covered in this video, but it is good to know them and I'll cover it in the future videos. Long polling mimics the server push mechanism. Let's see how. In our same stock price example, let's say whenever when the client sent the request to the server, stock price was X. Now, in case of long polling, server is not going to respond immediately. Rather, server is going to keep the channel open and wait until the stock price changes. So once the stock price has changed, now at this point, server is going to respond client. And now once the client receives the updated stock price, client is going to send back the immediate request for the next update on the stock price. And in this case, again, similarly, server is not going to send back the response immediately. Rather, server is going to keep the channel open and wait for the next update on the stock price. Now let's say stock dropped by two, two units and, and then only server is going to send the response. And that's how long polling is little efficient when compared to the standard polling. Every HTTP request initiates a timer at the client's end. Server is supposed to send the data before this timer expires. If the timer expires before the response is received, then timeout happens. In case of long polling, this timer is kept long enough so that server can send the data. And this particular value of timer is very much specific to the use case in which long polling is implemented. Though long polling is better than short polling, it has disadvantages. Every time client needs data, it has to send the request and reestablish the connection, which is an overhead. Also, it is resource intensive. One of the famous messaging queue system, Amazon SQS makes use of long polling for asynchronously transferring messages from one system to the other. I'll put the link to its documentation in the comments or in the description. If you're interested, you can go ahead and read that. If you got to know anything new from the video, please hit a like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on LinkedIn for more such content.